In this video, I'm going to talk about what it means to take the expectation and the variance of a vector, because now we're generalizing our result from that of a scalar to that of a vector. Okay, so if we think first of all about what it means to take the expectation of some sort of random vector, we can sort of write out generally our vector, let's call it x, as being composed of components x1, sort of x2, all the way through to xn. And the way we define the expectation of that random vector x is the expectation or is the vector composed of the expectations of each of the elements of x. So the sort of top element is the expectation of the element x1. The second element would be the expectation of element x2. And we sort of continue down all the way to the expectation of the last value, which is the expectation of xn. So that's quite a simple generalization of the expectation from that from a scalar quantity to that of a vector quantity. And because of this simple generalization, we can talk about some of the properties of the expectations operator when we're talking about a random vector. So the expectation of the sum of two random variables, or two random vectors rather, x1 plus x2, because of the way in which the, we've defined the expectations operator to work, we can sort of break this down into two steps. So the first step is where we sort of combine each of these two variables. So that means that we are taking now the expectation of the top element is let's say x11 plus x21. The second element is going to be sort of x12 plus x22 all the way down to sort of x1n plus x2n. Okay, so that's just summing each of the element elements to begin with. And then because of the way in which the expectations operator is defined on a random vector, we know that this is just defined as the, sort of the top element is going to be the expectation of x11 plus x21. The second element is going to be the expectation of x12 plus x22. And then we sort of continue all the way down to the expectation of x1n plus x2n. And that as a whole forms our sort of vector. And because of the properties of the expectations operator as defined as operating on random variables, we know that it's a linear operator. So we can actually separate out each of these terms or each of these elements of our vector. So we can now actually write this whole thing as being equal to what well, one component will be the sort of expectation of x1, and then we're adding out some other vector, which is the expectations of x21. Sorry, this should be x11 at the top there. And then if we sort of continue down, that's going to be sort of the second element is going to be the expectation of x12. And then I'm going to be summing together some other element, which is going to be the expectation of x22. And then we sort of continue all the way down such that we get to the expectation of x1n in our first of our vectors and the expectation of x2n in the bottom of the other, which if you can still make this out is defined as being equal to the expectation of our random vector x1 plus the expectation of our random vector x2. So you can see that this property of expectations being a linear operator also extends to the case of um, when we're actually considering random variable of random vectors rather than random variables. So that's quite a nice property for our expectations operator to have. And if I just write it at the top, we have that the expectation of the sum of x1 plus x2 is equal to the expectation of x1 plus the expectation of x2, where x1 and x2 are vectors.